Hey everyone, it's Amy and in today's video we will be making this super easy and delicious three ingredient sponge cake. You can decorate it with whipped cream and strawberries just like I did and it's really yummy. So you're going to start off by separating three eggs that are at room temperature. You want to let the egg whites fall into a medium sized bowl and then you want to place the egg yolks into a large bowl. Now you want to start whipping the egg whites with your mixer. You want to start off at low speed and gradually move on to high speed. Once that has become light and frothy like this, you want to add 3 tablespoons of granulated sugar. Now you want to continuously beat this for an additional 3-5 to five minutes until it becomes glossy and holds stiff peaks. And this is what it should look like. Now moving on to the egg yolks, you can use the same exact mixer. Just beat the egg yolks to just break them up a little bit and then you're going to add another 3 tablespoons of granulated sugar. Continue beating this until it becomes a paler yellow color. Now you're going to be sifting in 3 tablespoons of cake flour. Now you want to just mix in the flour until it is well combined. I actually ended up switching over to a spatula because it was much easier to fold in the flour with this. And now we're going to be adding in our meringue. You just want to add it one third at a time. Make sure that you fold it because you don't want all the air to be lost if you just vigorously mix it together. So if you want to fold, all you have to do is just scoop the batter underneath and just fold it over. And here goes the next third. And the last addition. And the batter should be nice and smooth, just like this. And I lined a 5 inch cake pan with some parchment paper on the sides and the bottom. I'm just going to be filling that up with the batter. You want to give it a shake and a tap so that the air bubbles can pop. You want to bake this at 320 Fahrenheit or 160 Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. Once the cake is done baking, you want to place it on a cooling rack to completely cool. Once it has cooled, you want to peel off all the parchment paper. Don't forget to peel off the bottom one as well. And now we're going to start cutting the layers. I decided to do three today, but you can do two or even four, whatever you'd like. This is totally optional, but I love adding fresh strawberries to my cake. So I washed some fresh strawberries and I cut off the tops and I'm just slicing them into thin pieces. I placed my first layer of cake onto this turntable. And I placed some whipped cream onto that. You just want to spread that out evenly with an offset spatula to make sure it is evenly coated. And now I'm placing the strawberry slices onto the whipped cream. Once you have covered that, you want to add another layer of that whipped cream and spread that out. Now you're going to be adding the next layer of cake and you're going to be repeating this process one more time. Again with more strawberries and more whipped cream. And now we're going to be adding our final layer on top. Some people do put the top layer on the bottom since it is not the most even layer, but I didn't want to deal with all the crumbs in the cake so I thought I could just cover it all up with whipped cream. You just want to spread it out until it is nice and smooth. You can also do the sides of the cake if you wanted to, but I was just kind of lazy today. And I garnished it with some strawberries and some chocolate drizzle.
And that's it. This is your three ingredient sponge cake and then I filled it with some whipped cream and chocolate and strawberries. It's super delicious. I recommend placing this in the fridge for at least three to five hours before you actually eat it. It tastes so much better after the flavors have actually developed. So I hope you guys can try this out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!